This video is going to cover how to design and build a swimming pool. I'm going to start with this one. This is the most recent uh, design technology we're using and we're using a thing called SketchUp which is a 3D modeling program that helps us understand three-dimensionally view-wise how the spaces all fit together and how they look and this is super important because for me the two primary objectives in a pool design is make sure all the spaces around the pool function well because those are the ones that you're going to want to use and if they don't work well we don't use our yards and you've wasted a lot of uh, time and effort. Secondly we look at our pools from inside 90% of the time or more and so I want it to be beautiful not just a swimming hole that cost a lot of money so those are my two objectives as a designer so why this 3D modeling helps so much as you can see here is you start to see how three-dimensionally what's that water feature going to look like in this case and this, the walls around it this pool happens to be in progress right now, so I'm including a couple of pictures and you can see how the tile on the walls and the stone on the walls play nice together and give it a really nice um, classy kind of uh, understated elegance. So the next one I'm going to show you is my own swimming pool and this was before 3D SketchUp and this was a sketch I did actually on an airplane on my honeymoon and my wife wanted a swimming pool so I sketched up the shape of it and some an elevation and a um, perspective drawing to kind of visualize what it was I wanted this thing to look like and why I'm showing you this is you're going to see the building of this particular swimming pool you're also going to see that it evolved and so here's our starting point with our yard before the pool we broke ground on the pool this is the lawn removed and we're looking at uh, I've painted out the shape of the swimming pool before the contractors come in and dig the pool you can see some pink lines here so this is the before picture this is right after they've dug the pool and you'll see that there's going to be walls there that's formed up so that they can spray gunite against that uh, flexible board now they've added the rebar so the structural part of the in-ground pool and uh, you can see they've also got spacers there on the walls and that keeps the rebar at the right distance so that the gunite will go behind the rebar. Uh, this, this is the trenching for the plumbing. Here's some of the plumbing. What I'm trying to show you is the phasing and how they step these together. A lot of my clients ask me how does this all happen so I really just wanted to show graphically how this all goes together. So after the rebar they put in the plumbing back to the pool equipment pad here there's electrical and water lines there this is the pad where all the equipment will sit and I have a uh, solar for mine and it's in my side yard so this is on a rack and now we're back to they're getting ready to gunite the swimming pool this is the skimmer and this cleans the surface of the water and this is the beginning of the gunite. So gunite is the concrete shell of a swimming pool. You can see here that these guys are um, starting to sculpt the walls while another guy is blowing on the gunite. And um, here you see the walls starting to sh take shape. And um, it is a very interesting process to watch. So eventually these become the rock walls, but right now they're just forming the shell and it's kind of a plasticky um, consistency of concrete that they can sculpt and put together pretty quickly. See how these walls are very clean? One guy starts cutting them and here they are at the end of the day and the shape has uh, come to life so to speak. So that's right after the gunite is complete. The next thing you're going to see is um, they'll start so you'll see a shelf there around the edge of the pool that's going to support this rock that you're seeing now so this is the beginning of the rock work and the walls going up um, also the coping we call that and that's the rim around the pool so I have Arizona flagstone it's called classic oak for the flat work and the caps on the walls and then three types of tumbled Arizona flagstone that's been chip and cut we call this um, 
for the vertical surfaces. Now they're doing the patio. So a lot of people don't know, but before they'll final the swimming pool to put water in it, they have to put in the patio. So that's the next phase is once you get all your stonework up on your pool and your pool and your tile and coping, now they'll come in and do the patio. So you'll see in my patio that there's two layers here and in one of those layers the stone is going to be laid in. So that's why there's a depression there is that's to lay in some flagstone. And here's my patio. So the flagstone, the exposed aggregate is the type of concrete I have and then you have the flagstone, the classic oak in those areas that you see there. So now the pool's ready to plaster. Plaster is what keeps the swimming pool from leaking. So, um, oops, that one's out of order, but if you go to the next frame, you'll see that they're blowing on the plaster, and it's about an inch thick. Now I have a Pebble product. There's Pebble Tech, Pebble Sheen, and, and the like. And what they do is they put on one full layer of plaster without any pebble in it and then they finish that and then they come back and do a whole other layer that has the pebble in it and these are very fine grains of sand essentially and I find them really nice and uh, gives it a more natural appearance that goes with this rock that I've used on the pool and um, also get a more natural water appearance in my opinion. So they come back and acid wash the plaster the day after they plaster and then right after that um, you can fill the pool. So there's my pool all completed and then I want you to see some time lapse here. So here's a probably a year or six months after the pool was completed and now this is two to three years after the pool was completed. Here you go. So the plants are starting to fill in and get some maturity here and that's about a three-year shot right there. So all the way from being imagined on an airplane on my honeymoon actually to this is our pool today with a beautiful space around it. And there's a nice night shot. And that's how to design and build a beautiful swimming pool. Enjoy.